Hello YouTubers, it's Warrior Craig 777 and I'm here to tell you that Jesus is God Almighty. You know, everything that you see out there is what God has created. Amen? From the grass, the flowers, the trees, the animals, the humans, the mountains, the waters, everything God created. And they all have a pattern. Everything is beautiful the way God made it. I have no reason why to believe Evolution is capable of creating all these things, seriously, honestly. Um, John 3, 16-17 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn it but to save it. Amen? Jesus didn't come down here to condemn us, He came down here to save us. That's His main purpose us from sin, His precious blood, Amen. Um, Genesis um, 1, multiply. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now that the earth was a formless and empty darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. So here it says, God created the light and darkness. God created in the beginning, He created the light and darkness. That is just such, in my opinion, that is a powerful God. I have no reason to believe any other God out there is able to, capable to create everything that you see. That's my proof that God's real. I don't know what's your proof, but that's my proof. And nothing is going to break that away from me. Amen? I'm saying strong. Especially Isaiah 48. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of God stands forever. So, no matter how much the grass withers and the flowers fall, God's word will stand forever. No matter what comes against us, God's word will stand forever. No matter how much trials and tribulations we go through, God's word will stand forever. No matter how many doubts we have or how many times we sin or how many times we fall and fall short from the glory of God, God's word stands forever. We are just like flowers fading away, but with Jesus' help, we could stand strong. We could be a strong flower. Amen. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This here tells us that the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ by accepting him in the hearts. To Jesus is God. To God, to see God is to Jesus. Amen? Because Jesus is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. Jesus is the way to heaven, he's the truth, he's the true God, as it says in John 14, 9. And he's the life. He should be our everything. Amen? Um, John, John 14, 9. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, how can you say, show us the Father? Now, that's what Jesus is saying right here. If you've seen, a face of, if you've seen his face, you've seen God's face. Practically saying that Jesus is God. He's in God's image. Um, amen. Let's see. For every house, uh, in Hebrews 3, 4, for every house that is built by someone, God is the builder of everything. God is our creator. He built everything. God gave us desires to create things. We created a lot of things. But those desires that God, God has given us to create things is what He created. God made us in His image. And God made us in His likeness. Amen? And part of the likeness is creating things. Well, we create things. That is such a beautiful blessing that God has given us a gift. Amen? Um, let's see. Oh, second, second Corinthians 5.15 And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Jesus died for every single human being that lives. Amen. No matter who you are, no matter how you look, no matter what your gender is, your weight, your height, um, yeah, you're bum, you're rich, when you're famous, no matter who you are, God died for you. He loves you unconditionally. 
that's going to stay in love for you no matter what you go through. He will always love you. Um, this, is, this, this is the beautiful verse right here. Revelation 21.4 He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. What he's saying right here is that a day will come when he wipe away all sorrow, all death, all pain, all worries, all burdens. When that day comes, Jesus will return to pick up his children. Amen. In heaven, there will be no more pain, no more sorrow. I don't know why people reject that, but apparently people love living in sin, which I... I can understand because I was one of those people who lived in sin. I'm not saying I'm not a sinner because I'm a big sinner. Everybody's a sinner. Even Jesus followers, his disciples were sinners. We were born sinners. Amen. Um, Galatians 5.17-25 For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other, so that you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, and the bouchery, something like that, I can't pronounce that word. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not enter the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature, which is passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. So what, what it's saying right here is that we shall not love sin. We should, we, we should crucify.